Hello, welcome back to the sheep job. We've not been here for a while. It's Wednesday, the 10th of November. Today, I'm going to mow this. And I'm not too sure whether I can or not. So I've got a few tips and tricks to show you on how you can establish whether you can get on with your mower or not. So let's get to it. Right, so I'm walking onto the lawn. Now I know from past experience that there's some troublesome areas on this lawn here where we entered the lawn. And as you can see from last time when I mowed 10 days ago that there is a little bit of damage there, but it's washed through. So just walking over here as well. Same here, gets very wet there. There's quite a few worm casts there. So what I want to show you is, is that what you're looking for when you're walking on the lawn is can you hear any squelching underfoot? And that's like the, obviously the uh, telltale sign that you've got a bit of a water drainage issue like this time of year. So what you can do is you can just press your foot down. And as you can see, there's no water coming up over my shoe or visibly whereas if i show you now what a bit of footage that i've just took from the front you can see that that does have this problem so we can just keep walking over and just scouting for any signs of like water retention and so far so good but what i know is is also from past mowing so i've been here 20 years so i know all about these things that over here it doesn't get the sun now at all so it does die off so we don't want to be mowing and turning in these areas so a good tip is that when you first start mowing is just mow bands around so all we're going to do is literally we're going to pass over this area just the once every time we, we we mow around so we're going to end up with like a border which may be like six feet in depth and then we're going to be turning the mower like round about here, or maybe not that far actually, around here. And then we know that we're not going to do any damage here because the lawn can take the, the, the hammer that it's going to get. So I'm just going to go and get my blower. I'm going to blow these leaves into a pile, pick them up. And that's another way you can reduce damage as well, because if you just got on air straight with the mower, there's no way, even with the hair to 48, it's not going to pick all these leaves up in one pass. So if, you, if you're going to do that, you're going to end up going over the lawn three or four times with your mower. And this is just going to cause loads and loads of damage. So it's imperative that we don't uh, do too much damage from the customer's point of view because we don't want any calls like, what have you done to my lawn? So it's all about lowering. You know, we are going to damage the lawn um, a little bit. We know that, but it's just minimising that damage. So let's go and get my blower and let's start this mammoth task of picking these leaves up. Right, so that was not actually on time lapse, you know, I did actually work that quick, so I'm uh, at my Weetabix this morning. Right, so we've got most of the leaves up. The mower will pick up majority of these, if not all of them, without uh, much hassle. If there's like one or two left over, I'll just kick it onto the next stripe, and then um, it picks it up then. So what I'm going to do now is get the mower out, we'll mow this, like I say, we'll do the borders around in bands, and then we'll turn further into the lawn where the lawn is a bit more durable. I'm going to double strike today because I want to spray some uh, galactic and before that if this rain holds off, uh, if it stays like this it'll be fine. I want to get on with some autumn punch as well because this hasn't had any yet. So let's go and get the stuff out. Okay, so a little bit of damage there, but not much at all. A bit similar to what it, how it looked before, but it was certainly worse than that last time I came because I was turning. So I'm kind of getting wiser as I get older. <laughs> so let's go over here. Again, just a little bit of damage and that was worse last time I did it. But for some reason, the worms like this damage, but normally there's a lot of damage up here as well, but not today. So let's have a walk over here now. And you can see Beautiful, no damage at all along this edge. Now normally, like I say, they would be very, very damaged here because I did used to turn it stupidly. Uh, but seeing the error of my ways and uh, sorting it out. So that looks pretty similar to how it did before. 
along here no damage at all you can see like where I've turned there's just no visible damage at all you can, I don't think you can even see where I've turned to be honest here a little bit a little bit of damage you're obviously going to get some because the weight of the mower is going to push the moisture up and that's what happens it, it acts like a sponge and when you press down all the water then comes up and then mixes with the mud that's there but that is definitely uh we can get away with that over here you might see in the video there oh because i was trampling over here a lot i was making a bit of damage so i thought down again just these little things that just come into your head i saw the plank over there and acted upon it and then uh that won't be as uh, damaged but it is pretty damaged i can lift and show you pretty pretty bad but you can't see it from the top end of the garden don't tell anyone that it's there and then they don't come looking for it because they wouldn't normally come down looking at this type uh, end of the garden so hopefully that'll come back somewhat it won't come back uh lots but once it rains and all that mud gets washed back through there'll be a bit more grass there and a bit more coverage so now the rain's kind of stopped now it's just a very very slight drizzle i'm going to get the autumn punch on and then I'm going to get a bit of galactic on after that. Now it's important you do the feed first in terms of the granular and then the galactic after. And then, you know, the, you know, you're not adding more moisture to the top of the leaf, which then the, um, the, the granular fertilizer is going to stick to and, and hang on the leaf there and then maybe dry on the leaf. And then you just end up mowing it off next time you come. So we're going to do that. But first of all, I'm absolutely starving. So I'm going to go today and get a bacon butty maybe a sausage and egg on there with some brown sauce so we'll see you after lunch also you may ask why i'm putting more iron on and so you may want to know why i'm putting more iron on you might say oh it looks really green why is he putting more stuff on because this lawn gets riddled with moss and over the years we've finally got on top of it but because it's very wet and it just sits there moss will just regenerate sometimes in a you know in 48 hours it can start just regenerating because iron doesn't kill moss it just um blackens it um, there's no chemical on the market now which will actually kill the spores there used to be uh called dichlorophen but that got took off about 10 years ago and now we can only use iron so regular applications of iron up until christmas so i'll do this one and then i'll do another one in a month or so and that lawn or this lawn will be signed off because all the leaves will be down I'll get on with the hedges in a few weeks and then we can sign this one off for the for the for this year and then start again next year and uh, try and get it you know try and get it better next year as is uh, the way I was trying to improve year on year so let's go and get that butty right now that was a lovely bacon and sausage butty didn't go for the egg just wanted the uh, bacon and sausage today because what happens is if you get egg you can guarantee on a filming day you'll dribble like runny york all down your front and which is what we don't want so Got my punch, ready to go. That rain's picked up a little bit again, but it's not gonna cause too much hassle. Might just get a little bit wet in the uh, hopper there, but I'm not too fussed about that. The weather forecast did say it was gonna be uh, just a gray, uh, no rain day today. So they got that one wrong. The Met Office app is rubbish, uh, definitely. I've uh, decided over this year that it's not up to much at all. So let's get this punch on and let's see what we can do with this lawn there's two ways we can put this on in terms of uh, ratio i'm pretty confident that i know what i'm doing hopefully i hope you believe that too that i just go on with this at number 29 on the dial whereas if you're not so confident there's the other way you can do it which is what i did in my last video which was to go at a lesser rate and do it multiple times in terms of like a lower setting on the dial and then weigh out what you need and then just keep going back and forth, up and down and whatever, until you run out and then that way you know you're spot on. But I've been doing this 20 years, I've got an idea of how to do it. So let's get it done. Right, I've just got the autumn punch on, my spray is ready to go. Now it's come to my attention that some of you aren't subscribing so i'm not going to do that until you subscribe i've got all day i don't know about you so i'm just going to stand here until you hit that subscribe button right have you done it 
thanks very much let's get spraying right so i've got my sprayer ready to go i've just got it on my back now what i've put in there today is i've got the galactic in there i've got a little bit of weed killer just because there's some weeds knocking about which i just want to knock on the head give them something to think about over the winter and then i've also put in the wetting agent just to keep that surface open and to let any rain through and that again is going to help with the moss control because the water's not sitting on the top there it's actually getting into the into the ground and, and draining away so let's get on with that and we'll see you in a bit Right, that's done. So we'll see how that looks in a couple of weeks. So more needs to come back here now for 10 days or something. All of these nearly down. A few beets left. A few cherry on the tree there. And the next biggie is the weeping willow there, which uh, they're very late to drop in this garden. And, and I generally, to be honest, but they're all going to fall on that gravel and not so much on the lawn. Uh, maybe a few, but it's more going to be keeping that gravel area nice and clean so uh, what you don't want to do is leave leaves on things like that because they'll rot down into like a compost and then then you end up with like soily gravel which then weeds start growing in and then you've got an issue with the with the old with the nice area down there so we're blowing that off every time i come onto the lawn then mowing the leaves up off the lawn as you've just seen so good practice now a little tip is because i've used an iron based product in the granular and the liquid um there's a chance that because i've walked on the patio uh, my footprints would transfer and leave uh, grip prints so what i'm going to do is i've just got the hose pipe out i'm just going to hose down the area all the way up to the gate there and rinse my shoes off and um just to ensure that i don't leave any orange marks on the patio because that will go down like a fart in a lift So join me next time when I might not be doing a lawn video, but I will be doing something else that I specialise in, which is Indian stone restoration. Now you might not think I specialise in other things, but I do, and that is it. Even getting those black bits of mould out, which you just can't get out with a power washer. So join me then, and hope to see you soon. Oh, and just one more thing before I go. I've noticed one of my videos has got 31,000 views. I've got 4,000 subscribers, so that's not right. Something needs to change. So stop bricking it and start clicking it.